Hi Sadhguru. Today each of us works hard to earn money, thinking money will give us happiness. Uh, happiness is the most marketed thing. We think we drink alcohol, thinking it'll make us happy. We want to be with a woman, thinking she'll make us happy. Uh, but what is it that'll make us happy? What is it that'll keep us happy? We are at a point where we don't even know where it is that we'll find happiness. So, what is happiness? What does a happy man look like? What does a happy man do? Uh, don't tell me look for happiness inside. That answer doesn't work for me. Give me the truth. Namaskaram Vijay, and you are a hill. How to make a hill happy? Yeah. <laughs> so, what does a happy man look like? What do I look like to you? <laughs> Now, we are thinking of happiness like it's some kind of a commodity or some kind of an attainment. No, when your life comes to ease, when you come to ease, happiness is a natural consequence. Coming to ease, what does it mean? There are many ways to look at this. Well, because uh, I should not say look inward, <laughs> you already put a condition on me. So, is it true that today, even medically we know, every human experience has a chemical basis to it? So what you call as peace is one kind of chemistry, happiness is another kind of chemistry, joy is another kind of chemistry, misery is another kind of chemistry, agony is one kind of chemistry, ecstasy is another kind of chemistry. Every human experience has a chemical basis to it. Or in other words, you are a very complex chemical soup. The question is only, are you a great soup or a lousy soup? <laughs> if you're a great soup, you taste good, not for somebody, for yourself. When you taste very good for yourself, if you sit here, if you feel extremely pleasant within yourself because the soup is great, then people say you are happy. If you become very, very pleasant, people will say you are joyful. If you become super pleasant, people will say you are ecstatic. So, to make it very simple and understandable for most people, your chemistry needs to be altered. There's a whole technology with which we can create the kind of chemistry that you want. If I teach you how to create a blissful chemistry within yourself, your very chemistry is blissful and you will be blissful. When you're blissful, you will no more be in pursuit of happiness. That is the biggest mistake that we are in pursuit of happiness. Your life has to become an expression of joy. When your life is an expression, of your experience, then what you do, what you do not do will not determine the quality of your life. How you are within yourself will determine the quality of your life. I'm sorry, once again I use the word within, but chemistry is not within, it is still outside of you. But if you know how to make the right soup, then being joyful is not an issue, it's a natural consequence of that. So, we can teach you a technology, we can teach you a methodology with which you will know how to stir the right kind of soup within you. This is what I'm calling as inner engineering, that you engineer your chemistry in such a way that it's blissful by its own nature, not because of something. If you think you're going to squeeze happiness out of something or somebody, <laughs> you will be disappointed because nothing will yield anything unless you have a chemistry of blissfulness within you.